Hi guys, my name's Lambda and today you've caught me remembering all the Borderlands things that happened during the announcement uh, gameplay footage for Borderlands 3 that was done a couple of months ago so I'm sorry that, you know, it's a bit late. I've just got this channel running, you know. So anyway, today we are talking about the top five things that I'm really excited about in Borderlands 3. So my first is the characters. So the first thing I'm excited about is the, ca the new characters in the game. So, the evil villains of it are called the Calypso Twins, and they are basically evil Twitch streamers, although they're not based on anyone in particular, which is what Randy said in the actual event. They're called Troy and Tyrene, and their aim is to spread propaganda around their new clan called the Children of the Vault. Uh, they do this by, in their boss battle, having loads of speakers that blare music which stuns the person, that uh, or you that stands too close to them and I found that as a really cool mechanic in the game. There are some new playable characters in the game as well. Amara is the first. She is another Siren but with all new abilities including my favourite called Phase Slam which is basically Lucio breaking it down in Overwatch. Second up is Zane who is a commander and is also a nice mix between Zero and Axum from Borderlands 2. He reminds me as he throws a clone out and the clone can shoot as well as you. And so that means you don't need good aim. This reminds me of Mirage from Apex Legends. Thirdly, a new character called Flak or FL4K, who is a Beastmaster. And finally, we have Mose, who is the Gunner. You also will see some familiar faces in the game, as in Lilith, Tiny Tina, Marcus, Hammerlock, and of course, Claptrap. The second thing I like about Borderlands 3 are the new features. For example, now you can res the AIs as well as they can res you, which is amazing considering if you're not part of a party or multiplayer, this is a great way that you don't just die straight away and getting your second win from shooting enemies. You can also get new environmental kills, so including you can shoot oil that are in cans and then it will set on fire and set the enemies on fire. You also have shooty walls, as that's what I'm calling it. What they are is a way to kill enemies who are behind cover without leaving it to yourself. You can also have your player level upscaling, which is basically when a player is matched with another player uh, in a team, they'll both on each side of their screen will have enemies that are about their level, even if one is very much higher than the other. My third thing I like about Borderlands 3 in the trailer is gameplay. So what I like about it is that it's the same game, but with new changes. You still have the gritty cartoon style that you've had in the previous titles, which all fans, including myself, have grown to love, especially with like the, just the way it's done and just the art style and the colours palette. You also, you get higher res graphics than the previous game because the previous game has come out many years before. So it is nice to see a higher resolution than the old games. The fourth thing I like about the Borderlands 3, what we've seen, is weapons and loot. So in the trailer, it was advertised that there are going to be 1 billion guns, which is very exciting and also probably a lot of work for the developers and the people who made it because making 1 billion or something is going to be a lot of hard work, which you can imagine. You also have the different... TDR guns. Uh, some of the guns in the game have new reloading animations. These include a bouncy ball reload, a multi missile reload, which will, is like a homing missile, and my personal favourite, which I think will probably be everyone's personal favourite, guns with legs. So the gun will run towards you and it will just start shooting you, which is very easy again, as I'm not very good with aiming, so it would be nice to actually have someone aiming for me. You also have a lost loot machine. So with this lost loot machine, what you have is if you've missed some loot in an area that you've been to, you can go to Sanctuary 3, the ship, and you'll find a lost loot vending machine. So all the stuff that you haven't seen before, you can just pick it up there and that is your loot now, which I find this a really cool mechanic as I do search a lot in games. However... I prefer to do the storyline first and then go back and looting games. So it was quite a nice thing that if you've not if you've missed something, you go, oh hey, I can just look in the lost loot vending machine. 
you also have loot instancing, which is basically, so if you and someone else in a party in a higher level, and there's some epic or rare gear, what they can do is if you have it, it'll be for your level, but if it's someone else's, it'll be for their level, even if their damage and stuff is higher because they're in a higher level, which I find is really good because now I don't feel like if I'm playing my friends, if I'm a lower level them, I can't go for a weapon because they're a higher level and it's for a higher level, which I very much enjoy. The fifth thing I really like about what I've seen in Borderlands is Sanctuary. What I like about it is that it's very different to the others as Sanctuary 1 was on the ground, Sanctuary 2 was floating above and Sanctuary 3 is a full on ship, which is very interesting considering that I actually didn't know a lot about Sanctuary 1 or 2 because I haven't got that far into. So it's a really nice thing that, you know, you have a full-on Sanctuary. You also have a fast travel in the new system, which I very much enjoy because it reminds me of things like Sea of Thieves, where you can actually steer the ship and then it's not as much as a fast travel as like Mass Effect and stuff like that in the newest one because basically it was just, hey, go here, and then it went there, rather than you actually see it moving everything, which I really much enjoyed. I also like the nice new design of Sanctuary, and having the characters in there, having their own different types of rooms. So you see Roxy in the casino, and you get your own casino. So that's probably where I'm going to be spending most of the game. You also have uh, a room for Hammerlock. So he is like... It's you can do like favors for him and you can get stuff back like parts and stuff you also have like a nurse's bit so if you're you know under the weather health wise you can go to them and they can fix you right up as well as there are vending machines in sanctuary as well so you can heal up you also have ellie who's a mechanic which i very much enjoyed in it because it's quite nice to see ellie again really so what I think about the game and what I think will do really well is that I think just the game will do really well. It will, I think it will actually be a smash hit. However, I do not want it to flop like games like No Man's Sky has done over the years. And, I'd, and as Randy Pitchford usually like hypes his games up a lot, I hope it doesn't come crashing down. However, I am really optimistic for it. I'm really excited for it. I think a lot of the fans are excited for it, especially as a lot of YouTubers were invited to the event as to to play for like an hour. A lot of YouTubers that I follow as well, so it was I was quite jealous to see that. Hopefully I'll do another part when Borderland 3 releases of how much it was anticipated and how well it actually did. However, that is in September, so you may need to open your diaries for that one as I may make a video then. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe so that I can get more subscribers and likes, which will do really well because this channel is basically a portfolio for my work. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, it is at li3l6th. And I hope I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye! So the evil people in this game are called the uh, uh, Calippo, no, not Calippo, Calypso, poop. <laughs> Fifth part about my video is the sanitary. S sanitary? <laughs> this is what reminds me of like sanitary towels. Like what? I'm really tired. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> so what? Uh, sanctuary reminds me of is like that um when you're driving through the planets and stuff reminds me of that game um oh what's the pirate game called the one that's like microsoft exclusive which like everyone played and then like everyone forgot <laughs> you know i can't really what's it called oh god
Uh, sea of Thieves. Shit. Sea of Thieves. <laughs>